like you told me the other day, people want to want to see opposition have a debate so they can so that it helps them make a decision about which direction they should go in and who they should trust. When the truth of the matter is deconstruction is the time to learn how to trust yourself. So you don't need to see Christian argue with Jackie Hill Perry. What you need to do is listen to Jackie Hill Perry and see how much of that resonates with your spirit. You need to you need to tune into your body and you need to tune into your mind and you need to tune into what you think about yourself and those around you after you get done listening to her. You don't need to hear Christian argue with nobody, baby. That's how we got to the point of needing to deconstruct in the first place, because we're so hung up on somebody else in a position of authority, telling us what to do with our life, telling us what to think, which direction to go in, who to believe, which doctrine to apply. Yes, here, no, there, maybe there. It's time out. How about you listen for yourself? How about you sit with how that make you feel after she talk about your ancestors and call them demons? You don't need oh. to see Christian have a debate with nobody. No, mm -mm. that's how we got here is opposition. So just sit with it and figure out how you feel about it. Listen. Oh, that's <laughs> don't come over here looking looking for the, the the figurehead in this space to just take the place of the space you came from because you'll bring that rule keeping stuff right over into this free space and because you haven't flipped your mentality of trying to figure it out for yourself you'll be waiting for christian to say something You'll be waiting to see what Pamela got to say. You'll be waiting to see what Autumn and Myron got to say because you're still in that mentality of I need somebody in position to tell me what to do. No, you don't. You you're in the position to tell yourself what to do. Um, you know, the work here of empowerment means that you got to take on the responsibility that comes with power. You, you, if you wanted to get out of a space where people were dictating stuff to you, right, and you wanted to get into a space in your life where you have the power to make your own decisions, that requires you to take on responsibility. So the good thing about being in rule keeping spaces is you don't have to take on responsibility for your own decisions because everybody's making decisions for you. You get into a different space where you're trying to embrace freedom. So now you're empowered to make your own decisions. But when you're empowered to make your own decisions, you are now responsible for making your own decisions. So you can't outsource the burden of your decision making onto your leaders. Mm. Mm -mm. Wow. Mm -mm. And I understand that it's very difficult because we've been so separated from ourselves all of these years. We don't know whether to trust it or not. But that learning to trust yourself is also part of the work. You cannot skip it. You can't skip it. You can't. Yeah. If you want to be free, you got to trust yourself because freedom doesn't come attached to somebody else. It just doesn't. It doesn't. They can help. They can help you set yourself free, but you don't get free by attaching yourself to other people. So if you really want to get free, this is the person you need to turn to. And this is the person that you need to ask yourself. Ask yourself. Yep. Free your mind and the rest will follow. That's what in Vogue said. I Thank you. When we do have worship at TFC and like Myron extends the invitation, the invitation is not to run down to the altar. The invitation is to run back to yourself. It's something that we talk about, right? We want you to run back to yourself because if you can get grounded within yourself, then all of that other stuff will work itself out. We've been so detached from ourselves in our religious spaces because we've been taught everything good is outside of us. Like we need a God outside of us to save this filthy soul that we have, this deceitful heart that we have, right? So we're constantly at odds with ourselves and other spaces. But if you're going to get in touch with yourself, you got to take responsibility for what's going on in there. That thing is real. That thing I is think real. I said this on another podcast. I think what I'm hearing, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong, it's the uh, difference between freedom. It's the difference between salvation and conquering. Uh, I think evangelicalism uh, has confused soul salvation with conquering my soul. 
uh, and so salvation means there is something inherent in me that is worth salvaging and not replacing. And I think we view faith spaces too long as something outside of me to place inside of me instead of discovering what God has already placed in me. I mean, how can I be fearfully and wonderfully made and be inherently evil at the same time? It just don't make sense. Uh, and I think self-discovery is salvation uh, and not conquering. And uh, so I've been on a journey for about 20 years now of trying to say what God has already placed in me and not replace it with what other folk want me to be. Y'all are silly. Hey, thank y'all for watching this segment all the way through. The entire recording of this episode is exclusively available in our digital community. You can subscribe by visiting holysmokesmovement.com and just click join our digital community. And if you enjoyed this segment, I'm sure you're going to enjoy the two plus hour recording we did on this topic. But not only that, you'll have access to the TFC ecosystem where hundreds of us discuss these topics every day. And not only that, you can watch all of our full length podcast recordings on demand in our digital community. And not only that, you can get the gratification of supporting a movement that's supporting you. And who doesn't want that? So again, HolySmokesMovement.com, click join our digital community. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to get more free content from us just like this. And we'll see you right back here next time where we are deconstructing harmful theology and building beloved community one cigar at a time. But like you did know, you don't have to smoke cigars to be a part of this, right? Like only 15% of our community smoke cigars. I'm just saying.